everyone, I'm Jay Priya and welcome back to another video. So in the world people use something called the internet and since the pandemic, like a lot of kids in different places, they go online like virtual learning. Sometimes they use something called Brightspace or Google Classroom. So do you know that kids and teens, they use online too. But do you know that that's not very safe? Like sometimes there are things where people can hack into your um, computer. They can like there's many problems that happen during using the internet. So I'm gonna show you some tips on how to stay safe and how you can take care and watch your kids properly when they're using the um, internet. So let's go into the video. So. Tip number one is never give out your personal information. So there are many hackers and some people are trying to like access personal information to get your bank account or like something like that and try to hack you. But the tip number one is never give out any personal information like passwords or sometimes like bank account numbers or stuff. So because they would try to access your password and then they would type it and then go to your account and try to do stuff that hacks you. So they would hack your computer. That's not really good. So you should always like keep your personal items to you. Never show it to anyone unless you're a kid and you can tell your parents because they won't do anything. But you should always remember not to click any links, not to like type in, like tell anyone your personal information. That's not very safe because sometimes on the internet, they ask you, ask you your, ask, please type in your password, please type in your bank account number, like something. They ask you and you type it. And then it says, will you save your number? And never save. So press never. Don't save it. Or the computer will like, it will have you sa it will save. the com save the password on your computer. And then if someone tries to go on your computer, it will be saved. So that's not really safe. So let's go on to the next one. So tip number two. Always keep your kids, computers or devices in an open place area. So because a lot of children they just don't know what to do there's like there, there's links that also can lead you to hackers and unnecessary websites so imagine if your kids on the computer and using the internet there's there's this message that pops up to your screen and it says please click this link imagine if your kids click that link and then go into a random website where the hacker can actually hack your computer or device so if you don't want that to happen you should always ha have your kids' devices in an open area so the parents can see or grandparents or any adult or family member can see what your kid is doing because it's not really safe for a kid to be on a computer but if they're doing something safe then that's okay but it should always be in an open area place so the parent or guardian can always see what your kid is doing so they can help you delete it or like help you get rid of the link or they can help you just handle any problems of like on your device or the internet so that's tip number two now let's go on to the next tip so tip number three never talk to someone that you haven't have a call like phone call with or if you never had a facetime chat with because some people on the internet they try to pretend to be your friend like they say i'm this i'm that but they're not really them they could be a criminal or someone that so they can be a hacker so they pretend to be your friend they try they try to be the person that you like and then they actually ask you the personal info and then you give it to them but they can be a criminal or it's like a hacker so you should never do that you should always have a phone call with them or a facetime chat or go like out in person to meet them so that's very important because like you will never know who it is or like what they're trying to do with you if they're trying to use you they will try to take your info and yeah that's not really good so now really be careful of the internet because they can say who you are and if you get an email with someone that you don't know but they say they're your friend always have a phone call or a facetime chat with them to make sure they're really them so now on to the fourth tip so Tip number four, never send anything to your like friend or someone that you know, like any messages or emails that you don't want your parents or grandparents or any family member to see because like that means they'll get suspicious on you because like 
if you send something that your parents and grandparents don't want to see, then if they have to see it because it would be like appropriate and they have to check if it's good or bad. Because if you send like this message to your say friend, then your parents and guardian have to see it so they can check if like that's important, like that's important, that's appropriate. Don't say anything that's off topic. Like say you're talking about homework to your friend and they need help. Just talk about that. Don't send them any links. Like just tell them what what they need help with, what should they do. So don't send them any links or anything and make sure your parents and grandparents or any guardian or family member sees that. So now let's go on to the other tip. Now, tip number five, always have your webcam covered like with a cloth or something like a sticker. So this is very, very important to like a lot of people on, on a lot of devices. They have this webcam that like it's round webcam or any shape. You have to cover it with something like a cloth or like a sticker or maybe something like a bowl or something because a lot of people like they can hack into your computer and See what you are doing and that is really creepy <laughs> so they can li literally hack your computer like say you click this link they use a, they use that website and they hack into your computer and then they can access your webcam and then see what you are doing that is literally creepy and that's why you should always have your webcam covered with something so now on to the sixth tip Number six, so if you get an unknown email like from a random person or a person that you don't know, show it to your parent or a family member or any grandparent or guardian right away and have them delete it because sometimes it could be like a, like um, like sometimes it could be a spam or like something like a link that can take you to like a website that's not really good because then people can hack into your email, hack into your account and then that's not really good. So the same thing goes with a phone call. So if you get like if you pick up by accident like a random caller calls you and then you pick up by accident. If they ask for your personal info, don't give them it at all because they'll just use it to hack you and like they try to like do something bad with it like hack and stuff. So that's not really good. So remember, don't answer any unknown number or and delete unknown emails like if you get a random email from a random person and it sends you a link delete it right away do not open it or else it will hack you so that was number six now let's move on to number seven so number seven so imagine that you just you just happen to sit down watch tv or do something important then you get a phone call and then this person says Hello, the, your family member, your sister, your brother is sick, they're in jail, they're hurt, and they're at the hospital. Like, imagine if that happened. Then you would say, really? Then I'll go. That is very wrong. You should not do that at all. First, number one thing to do is call them and check. So first, call your parents and check. If they don't know, ask the person that give you if that's true. If that is not true, then maybe you should really check by calling the person that they say is sick. So imagine they say your sister is sick, then call your sister and see if she's okay. Then you should decide what what you should do, like what if you should really go or not. Because sometimes they just say they're sick and then they just try to, like they say that your sister's hurt in the alleyway or in the park, then they just try to kidnap you. So that's not really good. And that would, that is the scariest thing that ever happened so do not do that at all first call your parents call your family member if they're okay and sometimes they also like try to do that to get money they tell you to meet him at the park and then they ask you for money so that's not really good at all so you should remember to check with your family members if they're okay first instead of believing the person that calls them now on to the last one number eight which is the last one is that Whenever like you're in a public place or even if you're at home, you decide to take up your, take like take your device and log into it to do some important stuff. Like if you're a student, you do school like Brightspace or Google Classroom, and if you're adult, you log into your like bank account thing 
to take some money, withdraw, whatever. So when you do that, you log in, but then you forgot forget to like log out. That's the scariest thing too. So you should always log out because perhaps you lose your device, like you lose your laptop, you forgot to take it, and someone else takes it. They open the device, they log on to it, and see that you already logged into it, and then they hack you. So they just do some random stuff to your account which is not even true and then you get in trouble big time and you should always like log out as soon as you're done doing whatever business you're doing on a device even if it's at a home at a public place somewhere like if it's at your relative house friend's house whatever just log out as soon as you're done and i that was the last tip and i hope you guys take it very seriously I hope you guys enjoyed this video and whatever I learned, I try to share with you guys. So a lot of like a lot of teens, a lot of people know this, but maybe some people don't, maybe some kids don't. So that's why I just want to bring this information safety to you because a lot of people now these days since the pan 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 medic, pandemic, a lot of people use online and I really want to make sure that everyone's safe, everyone's happy, everyone's like they have and they're enjoying it so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video click the subscribe button down below and click the like button click the like button and see you in the next video until then bye